Good Tuesday evening to you. Richard Scott here for your local forecast update. Big rain event today, tracking across Alabama. Rain event we really needed. Uh, fortunately, no major severe weather issues out of this. Just a big batch of heavy rain and some lightning and thunder with that as well. So what's happening out there? Here comes all the rain. Had one wave of rain move across the area earlier this morning. That was kind of light rain to moderate rain in spots. But again, this afternoon, the big line of thunderstorms worked in from the northwest. Had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings, but uh, fortunately, no report and major damage out of that other than a couple of trees down here or there. Uh, again, no injuries or, or any structural damage reported to us so far, but the batch of storms moving out as of about 545 of this Tuesday evening. Thunderstorms rapidly coming to an end across central Alabama. I don't expect any additional rain overnight tonight, but skies will clear out overnight. How about rainfall amounts? Over one inch in Tuscaloosa, about an inch and a quarter there. Birmingham, nearly an inch. Haleyville close to one inch. Gadsden, close to one inch. In fact, a lot of observations, only a hair below an inch. Anniston and Alex City, some of our lower totals, but understand as of 545 this Tuesday evening, it's still raining heavily there, so those totals will come up as well. Meridian, look at that, almost two inches down in Lauderdale County, Mississippi. Now, temperatures behind this front, not a lot colder. In fact, only a tad cooler tonight. You'll notice temperatures dropping back in the 40s, but tomorrow morning uh, really warming up quickly once that sun gets up. By lunchtime, 68, 71 by 3 o'clock. A good dose of sun. Hey, it's going to be a great day to be outdoors if you got any plans outside tomorrow afternoon or early tomorrow evening. Now, tomorrow night, it does get cooler again. So here comes a cold front again moving through tonight. We'll start off tomorrow morning again in those mid to lower 40s. High pressure on top of us for a Wednesday. That means we'll have a light to calm wind on Wednesday, so conditions are going to be great out there. Plenty of sunshine, sinking here with that. Now, let's go to the day on Thursday. Again, a cool start to the day, but by Thursday afternoon, I expect mid-70s across the area. But you see the next front coming in. That will arrive sometime late Thursday night, early on Friday. That should bring a pretty good batch of showers in here, maybe some thunderstorms. No severe weather expected, but expect a few rumbles of thunder in spots. By the time you wake up Friday morning, most of that will be south Interstate 20, although a few showers still possible even into the afternoon hours. But most of the rain will start to move out by then. Pollen count not too bad for a Wednesday, thanks to all the rain we had today, but it does spike on Thursday and Friday back to the high to extreme category. And then Friday into Saturday, again, that rain should kind of help things out for our Saturday pollen count just a little bit. So just a heads up, you are an allergy sufferer. That's what you got to look forward to. Uh, here's the forecast. Again, Wednesday and Thursday, perfect days. We'll be in the mid-70s on Thursday. Plenty of sunshine. Now, let's go to the day on Friday. Clouds, again, come back in. We'll have some showers on Friday. I do not expect an all-day rain. It turns cooler, though, for Saturday and Sunday. We'll drop back at 60s. In fact, Sunday will struggle to reach the low 60s for highs. We'll look for clouds to slowly decrease on Sunday. And by the way, Saturday, you see the chance for showers. I do not expect it to rain the entire day. But the latter half of the day into Saturday night looks like pretty good soaker. And then Monday and Tuesday next week, not that bad. Temperatures in the 60s for highs, lows tonight in the 40s.